welcome to the first episode of Greenlands. Uh, today we're going to be harvesting some fields. We've got some canola and some oats to get harvested and then the straw to get baled. Uh, I'm going to save a tour of the farm probably until the next episode because I'm still recording these videos in kind of a different way. So yeah, let's hit the intro and get into some harvesting. <music> So yeah, we are going to get the uh, the little massy over to the field. Uh, the combine is already there. I left it there when we brought it because I was going to jump straight into getting that harvesting on a worker, but saving it for a fresh episode. So as I said, we've got two fields of canola to harvest and a field of oats. Not expecting huge yields off of these because they're in whatever state they were in uh, when the game initialized. So I haven't added my geo to this yet. I'm going to do that once I have harvested basically I forgot to do it when I was setting the game up so we're gonna wait now until we've harvested everything and then we'll stick that in and play with that as well so Greenlands I've been waiting for this map to release forever watched all of the map tours and I just think it's a really nice map uh, I've forgotten the name of the mod I'll stick it on the screen in the edit he has done a brilliant job and particularly considering he doesn't make his own 3D assets um, or he doesn't make many of them so a lot of this is uh, base game placeables and stuff and he's just done a really awesome job of putting it together into a really nice UK map um, and this is our, if you didn't watch the intro video where I set this farm up this is my 10 million pound challenge um, while I do an awful job of reversing this header so we have, uh, at the moment we have a nine million pound loan. I need to borrow the extra million. I'm using the mod that lets you borrow 10 million pounds. Um, we have spent seven-ish million so far on buying quite a lot of land and most of the kit we need. We do need to get some more stuff. We also need to get all our animals. So we're doing beef and dairy on here and sheep. But need to get some feed in sorted for the animals first. So this episode we are harvesting our grain and seed crops um, I'm not sure what canola counts as <laughs> not sure uh, harvesting those getting the straw in we are the next episode probably going to chop the corn hopefully and if we're not going to do that we're going to be mowing some grass to get some hay um, so that we have got feed for the cows and the sheep and we'll then buy those so we're going to buy a lorry uh, which is going to be interesting on this fairly narrow map uh, but want to uh, get quite a lot of animals so we're going to get a lorry get a big animal trailer and uh, get those pens filled up probably going to convert one of the grass fields into a, an open cow pasture as well uh, looking at using oh, the guys who make help mountain ranch that stuff and um, they have a really big open cow pasture which i'm probably going to put on here uh, on calmston we're going to be using cookie cats fenceless pastures the cow pasture that's in that um, so just grabbing the doits and we're going to stick the rolling grain trailer on the back if I can remember where I've put it. So not expecting huge yields off of these fields because I'm not sure how fertilized they are. They probably all need plowing and liming and stuff. So there's going to be a lot of that in the future. Not really decided yet how I'm going to run this. I suspect there's going to be multiple jobs going at once once we really get stuck into this. So we might start to do the field prep on these fields whilst we're doing the next job with core clay and because we do have quite a lot of land we're going to have even more because the whatever money we have left at the end i'm going to invest in land um yeah we'll, we'll, we'll keep a few hundred thousand for for expenses but as we get going but then whatever we earn we will start to try and pay down that loan and see how quickly we can do it so let's get the uh the combine going no need to use course play on this it's not a huge field and it would be nice to harvest our first field so there's the fields are not big on here um so although we have quite a big farm i haven't been able to go for a really big kit this combine is probably too big i think for the here this map um, i was looking at a smaller john deere combine and that might have been a sensible option i did say that in the setup video um, this header is quite tricky to get around the farm particularly on dolly trailers because i hate dolly trailers and you'll see in the other two fields that we have to harvest we end up losing a little bit of crop trying to get the header through the gate and into the field 
I could just drive through the hedge because the hedges don't have collisions but I'm not going to do that um, I do like that the hedges don't have collisions because hedge collisions can often lead to funny things with getting stuck on them so I like that the hedges don't have collisions but we're not going to be plowing through them or driving through them you know what I mean so yeah we are starting starting started on Greenlands just uh yeah, been keen to get this going. Still looking after the poorly dog. Uh, so I'm recording this over the weekend. Um, hopefully by the time you're watching this, you'll be doing better. Um, and thank you for the people who have sent messages. It is much appreciated. Um, and those of you that say make content whenever you want, I make content because I enjoy it. So And it's a relaxation for me. So I'm making these because they help me chill out. The same as with making mods. Um, I find that's a great distraction and I've been working on the update to the mini BGA which is what I'm running on here I'm going to be running the updated version to test it and we'll get into looking at that when we have some stuff to put through the BGA um, or when I can record these videos more normally because this voiceover is being recorded way after this game footage was recorded it may not look like it but it is um, so yeah I've been working on the update to that it's now going to be a there's going to be four parts to that mini BGA pack. Um, there are two versions of the mini BGA and some other bits that work with it. So yeah, that will be going off to Giants. Probably about when this video releases, um, we'll be sending that update off to Giants and then we'll have the, I don't know, three or four week wait for it to get through testing probably. I don't know whether updates have the same wait as normal releases. I am completely new to this. I have another mod that's just gone into testing or will be at this point about a week through waiting to be tested um, and another mod that I'm planning on working on and I did kind of chat about these on Discord a bit but I'm, I'm working on a, a bigger version of the mini BGA because people want more capacity so I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet I've got the ideas in my head about what I wanted to do functionally it's going to be a little bit different um, but I never thought that my uh, love earth playing farm sim would have me watching videos and reading research papers about how BGAs work so the I haven't put it in this update to the mini BGA but the bigger version that I'm going to build will have some slightly different recipes in the productions which are trying to reflect maybe a bit more how some of the things that I've seen work in the real world I'll probably keep the standard ones in there as well, so it's going to be a BGA that's going to have a lot of production recipes in it, but the uh, the new ones that I'm thinking of will be more productive, but they will be a bit more complicated to use. So, um, if you're regular to the channel, you know I quite like diving into complicated mods, so yeah, it's probably maybe not a surprise that my own ones are going to be getting slightly more advanced. I guess the other thing with the update to the BGA is I've changed it so that it will show the fill types, the, not the fill types, the prices for electricity and methane in the menu. So that's kind of cool. Um, as my skills improve, I am trying to do more. But yeah, I was kind of pleased with getting that to work. And yeah, we're just going to get these, uh, we'll get these fills harvested crack on we had some more information about precision farming and i actually read it this time and we had them on pc we had them anyway but we're getting crop set crop scanners um, the pc we had them anyway we had the class and i think there was a lizard one so i don't think they came to console because they have they used scripts and you can't have scripts on console but they're coming base game now and there's also the passive one which is built into the tractor which i think is kind of cool um, that, that's an interesting option I guess if you're running stuff where you don't have the front three point clear having it put into the tractor is a nice option the issue is the, the cost maybe and if you're running a large fleet of tractors because you only really need to scan a field once unless they change how it works and maybe you're going to need to if you're running those scanners maybe you need to live scan the field if you're doing stuff um, so that's kind of cool one of the other interesting things that I've picked up with precision farming is that so when you were fertilizing with precision farming if you didn't have the crop in the ground you couldn't use it to tell you what level of nitrogen you needed now in the, the, the new version you can select the crop you are planning to plant I think and it will then manage the nitrogen level for you which is really cool 
particularly if like me you like to pre-apply your fertilizer um, I'm really really pleased for that and um, with says we're getting uh, variable rate manure spreading now you could do that in FS19 and I did it a lot if you watch my FS19 videos where I would use manure or slurry or digestate to get most of the way to fertilizing by applying really heavily so I'm curious with that is whether they're going to automate that like solid and liquid fertilizer or whether it's just the same variable rate application that you could do in FS19 although I think most people used it fixed for those where you just apply quite a low amount of pre-fertilization I used to apply a much heavier amount because you could just choose to select how much you applied and if you're running you know like we're running a BGA on here you end up with quite a lot of organic fertilizer to apply so it was a good way of pre-applying your nitrogen and it saved you a lot of cost and you know, if you think about the the current real world climate where fertilizer is now a thousand pounds a ton you're probably going to want to do that I'm glad we don't have realistic pricing price fluctuations for things in FS where well, people are getting a lot of their crops. Well, we'll maybe we'll avoid that situation. We'll, uh, we'll move on to harvesting and down at one headland and starting to run GPS just to get us a straight edge to harvest along. I would normally use lands to harvest, but because these fields are quite small and canola is quite a low yielding crop, we're just going to do normal up down rows. If you're wondering why the sound occasionally dips, it's because I'm recording everything on the laptop at the moment without the extra screen that I would normally use, so I'm occasionally tabbing to check that I'm still recording. Um, although the issues that I had with OBS have gone away because I rolled back a version. I might need to do an update at some point to uh, see if they fix that issue where OBS would stop recording halfway through a video because that was really frustrating because it would happen in the background and I wouldn't see it. Or I wasn't paying attention to OBS and I would miss the video and stop recording and I'd recorded half a video and got about 30 seconds of footage. I'm interested to see what people think about this series. None of the videos are live yet as I'm recording this, so I recorded the two episodes back to back pretty much and the commentary is being recorded away before the first video has released. So yeah, let me know what you think about this it's a slightly different series for me. And the style of farming is going to be the same. I'm running a big dairy farm. Yeah. So it's going to be how I play the game. Just starting with a lot more cash and trying to repay it all. I guess it's a bit like I did on West Texas. I never really got to play that series out because FS22 came out and I wanted to play FS22 and less people wanted to watch FS19. So we never really played that series out. So this is kind of doing something similar but in the UK, which is obviously where I prefer to do most of my Let's Plays because that's where I'm from. There are some nice American maps about the moment though, and Westby, Wisconsin really has my attention. Um, just not sure how I'm going to fit it in because I also want to keep going with the, the series that started with the Survival Challenge. It's not going to be a Survival Challenge anymore, but I want to move that to the Old Stream Farm and three Let's Plays is kind of my limit. So. Westview may have to wait. Um, other cool thing is uh, the Elk Mountain guys. Um, I think that's the right name. Let me check. Talk amongst yourselves for a moment while I just look something up on Facebook. Because um, I saw a really cool picture this morning from one of the map modding teams. And I'm just trying to find it on my phone. Elk Mountain Modding have added Alfalfa to their or are adding alfalfa to their map in the next update that's going to be really cool and i'm really looking forward to seeing more modders adding new crops into the game that might cause issues with maze plus i guess um into the time lapse a bit now it's still the same me because i'm recording all the voice over in one hit and um, yeah i guess that may cause issues with the future versions of maze plus because maze plus is maxing out the height types and if you want to play with Maze Plus when it eventually is ready for release, I'll be doing a bunch of tutorials on how to deal with things like that because they have set Maze Plus up so that you can easily reduce the number of height types that are used by Maze Plus if you end up with an issue with a map where mappers have added lots of crops. Um, it's being tested on the update to Comston, which has linseed, so that's one extra crop. But I can see as mappers get into producing more crops, we're going to have crops that have most of the crops we were used to for maize plus so clover alfalfa 
carrots, onions, all that kind of stuff, and more, I'm sure. I'm sure we're going to end up with loads of different props to play with in FS22. That first combine load full, and the field is pretty much done. Not too much left to go on here. And then we are off through the yard to our next field of canola. We're going to get the two canola fields done first. That just seems sensible, because in the real world, you'd probably have to change things on your combine a bit. And then we'll go and do the oat field and get some straw. The, we have one oak field at the moment I, and it's not in a great location if I'm honest uh, I prefer the fields that are off of roads like this there are some fields on the map which are in the middle of fields um, and what we may have to do is put some tracks around the edge of some of the fields to get to those although the oak field is off of one of our grass fields so that's maybe less of an issue particularly as I think that's the one I'm going to convert into a cow pasture so what we might be able to do is run a track around the edge of that when we fence the cow pasture in. First field done and in the silo. And let's go get the header. I do like this little massy. It's a really maneuverable little tractor for getting jobs like this done. And it was brilliant when I was uh, moving the, what did I buy? 48 bags of seed fertilizer and lime. Um, it was in this shed. It was great for getting those all moves and uh, into storage. Worked really well. A really nice little movable tractor. It struggled a little bit with the weight of two bags of seed or fertilizer or whatever. But... Alright, we're going to lose some crop here. Um, but we don't have a lot of option. Um, I'm half tempted to remove the gates. Don't know. Let me know what you think about that. That would have made getting in there easier, but and I'm awful for opening and closing gates, so I may remove those. You can do that on this map. Um, yeah, curious to know what people think about that one. Just pull the header trailer out of the way and uh, get stuck into harvesting this field. This is a slightly bigger kind of field, so we should get a little bit more off of here. I should have just left the tractor parked on the uh, on the head headland, the tiny headland there, but. Oh well, gave us a chance to go and grab the uh, 8 series with the tra trailer on the back. Yeah, let's get another field harvested. We have a lot of sugar beet fields, so pretty much planted on here. I think we have canola, lots of sugar beets, and lots of corn, and some grass. And some of the grass fields haven't grown in yet, which is kind of interesting. I'm assuming they will grow. Um, some of our grass we may end up ploughing up anyway and planting as arable crops. I'm not too worried that we have lots of corn because that will give us lots of silage which we can put through our BGA to make lots of money. I have been asked about whether you can use the mini BGA with the modular BGA. I think things like the generator and at the moment you can't in the update you will be able to and you could also then use it with the digestate storage or the slurry store on there um, so you could then if you were producing a lot of slurry you could put the slurry store on your map and then set that to distributing and that would automatically send the slurry into the BGA and you could then yeah, you could process the slurry and the same with the digestate storage point off from that pack you can set the bga to distributing you can do that now actually with digestate and um, so if you end up getting a lot of digestate out of it you can put in the digestate store from the modular bga pack set digestate to distributing in the mini bga and it will send it to the digestate store you can store i think a million liters of digestate in the mini bga so that may not be a problem may not have an issue with having not enough storage but it's an option right, that's the second canola field done reasonable amount of canola off of here this will probably all be sold like Calmston I will most likely be adding maze plus onto this let's play once it's released but Depends where we are in the cycle of harvesting and having piles on the ground and things. We'll, uh, we'll just wait and see. So I have done some edits to the farm on here. Um, 
mostly in the placeable so if we have to start a new save to get maze plus in that might be a bit of a pain not impossible to deal with right, yes yeah, so this, this is a grass field that hasn't grown in yet and this is our field of oats so again let's get the uh, combine moved I'll save you watching most of that and we will just jump ahead in a moment to uh, getting the header back on the combine. So yeah, we're going to have to lose some crop again, particularly as this uh, the location of this gate is not ideal for getting the header onto the combine. And I do hate dolly trailers. That would have been another benefit of getting a smaller combine is I could have had a smaller header which would have had a smaller dolly a smaller header trailer which probably wouldn't have had a dolly. We do leave the header trailer in the field on this field. Just, just clip past the Masky Ferguson and we are good to go. Now, we're going to run a couple of headlands in on here and then we're going to get a worker going on at harvesting so we can go and jump in the T7 Blue Power and get bailing. Uh, just say thank you to the channel members uh, just scrolling past on the screen there I really do appreciate the uh, contributions and uh, you will have seen on the channel members bit of the discord a little preview of the updates to the modular BGA pack yeah, so I think two headlands will be enough um, just need to allow space for the combine to turn is the issue is this is not a massive field so two headlands is actually going to take quite a lot of crop off the field um, but hopefully it'll give us enough straw to uh, boost the production of the cows and milk uh, obviously you get straw and you get slurry and manure from cows whether you give them straw or not and you get the same amount whether you give them straw or not i'm not sure if that's working as intended or whether that's a bug with the giants but that's how the game is so let's get a work going on here and we've got the t7 with the new holland big baler this is the baler that i used on ravenwood it's a really nice bit of kit quickly grabbing a picture and that one didn't make the thumbnail in the end as you will have seen we'll be doing a little bit of auto loading on here i did for these bales these get auto loaded just because it was getting late into the video and I didn't want to spend the time manually loading them we have got the Farsin elect full electric telehandler I have made an edit of that which we will be putting on here um, which has had the motor tweaked up a bit um, that's basically to use it to test with the BGA which lets you recharge vehicles and uh, so it's got a, it's faster but it eats electricity and that is basically so that I can test storing and charging and things like that as I play the game and I figure yeah, you know, these days there are some pretty beefy and fast electric vehicles like Tesla um, and I assume they eat huge amounts of electricity so I have souped up the, uh, the power on it and it eats electricity so you'll probably see that in the next video I would guess Depends what I'm up to and how I record it. It's a good chance actually that it's going to be done like this one. And those that are curious, Joker is slowly getting better. Joker is my injured Greyhound, but he is not mobile yet. Um, so he's still having to be carried places when he needs to go to the toilet, for example. And I'm not sure how work's going to work next week. I had all of this week off so that I could basically look after him. And I probably can't take another week off. There's only so much holiday I can use. So yeah, that could be interesting. Yeah, harvest done. Uh, park the combine out of the way. 20,000 litres of oats. These will be sold. We don't need to keep oats for anything. So just bung them in the silo for now and we'll stick a sell trigger alert on for when the price is good. And we can finish up the baiting. I'm going to stick the trail in this shed that's out of the way. We're going to tuck the combine in here as well later on. Um, I think that's a good place to store the things we won't be using too much. And I don't think we'll need that trailer again for a while because we have the two silage trailers finish up the bailing I do like this t7 um, it's the modded version off of mod hub it's a really nice bit of kit kind of a cool paint job as well 
And as I said when I was doing the setup video, I don't use New Holland stuff much. I was really tempted actually to have the New Holland T4 on here as a yard tractor, but put the pair of masses as you will have seen if you watched the startup video. All right, baling pretty much done. 14 straw bales, and we've got the Roland Auto Load bale trailer. So we're going to quickly grab these and stick them in the Casa Farms dynamic bale storage shed. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Do not smash the like button. I need the likes. And I'll catch you next time on FS22.